it's Lee in a fishbowl today, and I have um, a baby shower gift that I wanted to show everybody. I thought it was a really cool idea, and I wanted to kind of share it so you could use it if you have a baby shower um, gift and you want to do something kind of creative. Um, this shower happens to be a couple's shower, so um, I'm sorry. This is behind me back here. Sorry, it was flashing that it was ready. Um, Anyway, it's a couple shower, so the husband and the wife are both at the party, and of course, my husband and my wife, um, myself, are um, invited, and several other couples. And so, um, we were trying to do something creative that um, would include the husband in the gift opening, and you know, something fun. This idea actually came um, from our baby shower when we had K two back in two thousand and four. Our um, our church, where my husband was the pastor at, did this. Um, and gave it to him. So I thought it was really cool. So I'm going to show you all the items and then I'm going to show you how we're presenting it. So um, y'all know I am, I'm not in the baby mode right now. I would like to be, but I'm not there. So um, it's been quite a while since I've <clears throat> had to really shop in the baby aisle unless it's for a shower. And so finding things to fit in this particular way that we're presenting it in a minute. Um, was difficult. I had to find little things to fit. And so I was trying to find a lot of stuff that I thought they would use and that would apply to their everyday. It, it was stuff that would keep them from having to run to the drugstore and, and buy extra. So um, I started out with some things that I knew would help her. Um, we went to Target and I looked through all of the baby cleansers and the, um, the you know, the foaming washes and all that and the lotions. And um, I looked at Several organic ones. I know I've heard some things about the, the chemicals in the Johnson's No More Tears stuff. But um, anyway, the organic ones I tried, the California Baby and other things like that, they smell awful. And I guess maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I think a baby ought to smell like a baby. And so um, anyway, I found this, and I thought it was kind of a good in-between. It had a really good smell, but, um, but it was kind of... Um, it, well, it says it's natural. It's called Johnson's Natural Head to Toe Foaming Baby Wash. It's 98% um, natural, plant and fruit derived ingredients, and it's aller free fragrance. So, um, yeah, it, it, I think it looks like it's going to be pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's got some chemicals in it. And, um, shh, hush, K2. It's got some chemicals in it, but this is it. Let's see if I can get you. Johnson's. So, there it is. I hope this didn't show up backwards. I don't know if that's how it'll work or not. But anyway, it's Johnson's Head to Toe Baby Wash. So, we got that. And then we got the matching lotion. It's called Nourishing Lotion. And it's 99% natural. No parabens and no dyes. The ingredient, on the back it even tells you it comes from different sources. So, um, it looks like it's got coconut, palm, cottonseed, soybean, things like that. Which is pretty good. And there's that one. Let's see if it'll, I don't know if it'll focus in, but that's it. K2. Yeah. Hush. Trying to do something. Oh, oh. Okay. And then, of course, this, I just, I've always loved the name of this. This came out like, it may have been out when K2 was a baby, but it was kind of after we got through the diaper stage. I think it kind of came out right around that time. I may be wrong. Maybe it just wasn't in our region. But I remember hearing about it and thinking, oh, that would have been cool to have tried on him. But this is Boudreaux's butt paste, and it's diaper rash ointment. What? <laughs> K2 thinks that's funny. Boudreaux's butt paste. I've heard really good stuff about this. Um, we were fortunate with K2 not to have it like one episode of bad diaper rash. And so, um, yeah, we were lucky. But they say this is really good stuff. I've heard lots of friends talk about it. And then we got them some um, wipes. These are just Pampers. They're sensitive wipes. They're cute. I just got the sensitive because I was afraid, you, you just never know with a baby about their skin conditions and if they're going to be a, um, hypersensitive to stuff. So I, I always go with the sensitive. And then the rest of these things she had um, <clears throat> on her registry. Nail clippers. These are by Safety First. All this was from Target. And then this is a natural bristle... Um, hairbrush and comb. And it's funny, um, when K2 was little, the doctor gave us the scrub brush, a scrub brush. It had a, a shim, like a, 
um, sponge on one side and then the stuff that they use to scrub their hands before they go into OR. Um, that's what the nurses use to comb. Shh, K2. Yeah, you used it. I have it. I actually could show it to you. It's in the bedroom. But, um, and they use that to comb his hair and wash him. And so we use that for the longest time. We just kept it clean and washed it. Um, and then, you know, he, then we bought one of these, but they'll use this after he gets a little bit bigger. There's more hair. It is a boy. The baby I'm, the shower is for is a boy. Um, these are Avent, um, zero to six month orthodontic pacifiers. They're free flow. And I got a light blue and a white. I thought those were good for little boys. They're really cute. And I hope, I hope that, um, excuse me. I hope that, um, she'll let me take these back and put his initials on them. I've done that for baby gifts before and, um, put permanent vinyl letter on there with his initial. Um, you just, you know, it's cute. But since she hasn't decided on a name, 100%, she's like 99% sure, but not. And so I couldn't do anything personalized, and that really killed me because I love to do that. She had registered for this. This is a teething ring. It's called Bugaloop Teether. Massaging nubbies soothe and stimulate the gums. BPA free. So I got that for her. Cute. And then um, this is a sheet for a fitted crib that she, I love this. I love this light blue chevron. Um, so cute. They had tons of the chevron patterns and yellows and pinks and the light blue and things like that. So this is a fitted sheet, 200 count from Target that she had registered for. And the last thing we got was this cute little booger. This is a sassy go-go friend. You pull it down, you can put it on the stroller, the car seat, and then watch it. <laughs> it vibrates. K2 had one very similar to this when he was little, and I remember we had it attached to the carrier, the car seat carrier that we carried him around, and we called it his bucket. But that's, um, so that's going to go in here. And, yeah, you remember this? <laughs> Don't go away. You're being a goofball. All right. Stop it. Did you know it? My son's being a fool. All right. So, um, hang on. I'm going to put this down for a minute. Yeah. Photo bomb. Goodbye. Photo bomb. Goodbye. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, so. Meanwhile, let me get my child out of the way. Okay, so what we're doing is we are putting all of this in this tool belt. See it? Isn't it cool? It's a leather tool belt. This was not a cheap item, actually. I know for a fact this guy is getting ready to build a fence in his yard. Um, and they are kind of in a semi-new home, and they haven't had the fence. They wanted to completely enclose the area. So I know he's getting ready to do that. K2, please stop blowing balloons. No, stop shooting. Anyway, so um, this is what we're going to put it all in. And so I'll just kind of quickly show you. Let me pull this down so you can kind of see. Like we could um, do one over here. and I haven't stuffed it yet because I want to make sure. I did stuff it at Target just to make sure that there was every there was an you know enough stuff. But um, let's see, I can't really remember how I did it now. And um, I think we put like these in the middle. And um, I just remember when Kevin got, my husband Kevin, when he got um, this, it was so hilarious. Like, it was totally unexpected. You, you know, a guy comes to a shower, and he really, quite honestly, doesn't expect to get something himself. He thinks of it, I'm sure, more for, what did I do differently? I think I made this in here. Um, he kind of, you know, you just, when you go to a baby shower, you kind of expect it to be for for the, the, the pregnant woman more than the pregnant, well, the man of the pregnant woman. So, okay, so basically, this is what it's gonna kinda look like. Isn't that cool? My husband has an actual hammer, I think, that he bought to put in it. And um, we've got a blue bow right here. Let me get it. <laughs> We're gonna put on it. I got it at the Dollar Tree. We're just gonna slap this baby on there. 
and that makes a really, really cool. Oh, and this little booger, we're gonna put on one of these brackets down here. See, it's pretty heavy. And I remember when Kevin got his, it was really heavy. So, um, anyway, we'll figure it. I've gotta unvelcro this and attach it. But, um, yeah, so that's a really cool guy's gift. For a baby shower if you're really not sure what to get and you want to do something cool for the guy instead of the gal or for I mean all the stuff in it is going to be stuff that the the mom will probably use more than the dad but um anyway so the other thing we did so it's not to exclude the mom is we got her one thing she she had signed up for um a particular bouncer it was a monkey bouncer by Fisher Price but they didn't have it at our local store it was only online so, um, I found one that was the same price, and it was also by Fisher Price. I hope she likes it. If she doesn't, <clears throat> then, um, well, I don't know. She can take it back, but I'm sure she'll like it. It's so stinking cute. Can you see it? It's got owls and turtles and snails. It's very boyish. They even advertise boys on it, and it's called... I am a finger ninja. It's called the instant, no, 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 infant to toddler rocket, rocker. So, um. Stop, I'm trying to get my door. Go. Not right now. Here's the back of it. Let me show you up close. Let's see. K2 has um, got this new toy from the Dollar Tree mm -hmm. that he's playing. So if you hear him, watch, that's because he's blowing darts. Yeah, Let's see how cute it is. It's got a little turtles and it's got kind of geometric shaped trees and things. I thought it was precious. And the little orange thing right here is like orange with little white stripes. I wish you could see it. Um, but it says here, it has music. What did it say? Toy bar easily removes for toddlers to sit up and play. So you can use it as a little chair after they outgrow it as an infant. Um, a deep cradle with calming vibrations, comforts and soothes younger babies. Folding out kickstand and reclining seat for feeding or nap time. And a, the little toy thing has musical turtles to stimulate the senses. Used for up to 40 pounds. So, machine washable pad, everything. It's pretty lightweight. So, I thought this was a really cool little something. So, that was the other thing. We're getting ready to wrap it all up and put it in some cute baby, um, baby wrapping paper. And we're headed off to the shower at about 5 tonight. So, um... Anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of show you this. I guess you call it my baby shower haul. I don't know. Or um, I don't know. I'll have to think of some kind of name for it. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'll be doing more stuff for her. She's a pretty close friend. And um, they have two boys that are close to my son's age. And then this one was kind of a late surprise. So, um, yeah, they're very they were shocked, but they're very excited. So, and that'll be their third and last boy. But, um, anyway, so, a uh, great idea. Tool belt for the guys full of baby supplies. So, I'll have to let y'all know how it, um, turns out. And I'll probably try to see if I can dig up a picture of my husband the day he got his. Because his face, his reaction, is priceless. You'd have to know my husband to know that, I mean, he loves tools. Like, his pastime is building and figuring out stuff and playing with engines and oh, you got if it has anything to do with tools he loves it so the tool belt was like a perfect gift for him um so yeah we'll see how this other guy likes it i hope he likes it but anyway all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this um kind of cool little baby shower um info and we hope you have a great day see you later bye